Hey, this is Senkrad. <clears throat> We're uh, just about wrapping up the Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition video uh, for the walkthrough. Uh, as I've said, if you're following the videos up to this point in time, you're following the walkthrough or the guide, the last videos will be getting longer. Why? Because Phantom Force is broken up into two areas, Hunter's Edge and obviously the Phantom Force. Um, and there's really not a lot of complicated stuff happening in these areas. Um, not worth making individual videos for. I think that I might, in Phantom Force, make an individual uh, video again uh, in better quality of just specifically the Source Temple puzzles, but we'll see. Um, today, right now, in this video, we'll be going over just Hunter's Edge. And um, we're pretty much going to be blowing through it. I don't think I'm going to break this up into individual videos. I don't think I'm going to break this up into individual individual videos. Now, what does this mean? This means that uh, I, if there are specific things that potentially people like to go to, um, that I might put some timestamps in this video for you to just be able to go to that in the same video because uh, breaking it up just does not seem like there's going to be people Googling how to, uh, how to, for example, make the ale uh, in Hunter's Edge. I, I just, I don't think that it's going to be a thing that people are going to be looking for. Um, so let's start. So Hunter's Edge, uh, if you don't know how to get to it, uh, go to my opening up video. It'll explain how to open up all these places. Um, there's a couple things that happen before you go into Hunter's Edge. Uh, not worth really noting. One's a fight with some spiders. It's a pretty self-explanatory fight. I don't even have that included. The other thing is a, a, a deal on the bridge. Uh, now, as I've suggested every single time, solve something with diplomacy, i.e. a conversation, and then start a fight and kill everyone anyway. So in that case, you would say, hey, I have the money, give the troll the money. You get a point in spiritual and everyone starts to go their own way. Then cast Hailstorm on the troll as the people are walking across the bridge, hitting them all and kill them all. The only other thing in that area, potentially, is directly after that bridge, um, in... Uh, oh man, so if you're heading east... So you head over the bridge, you're heading east, there's a little um, plate there, offering plate. If you stick, I, I don't even know what it is, 5,000 gold, nothing at that point in the time, a chest will pop out of the thing. So um, open up the chest, open up your inventory, slide $5,000, 5,000 coin into, the, ch into the, the offering plate, and a chest will pop out. Other than that, there's nothing. So uh, then you go into Hunter's Edge, and uh, all these videos will be discussing basically Hunter's Edge. So strap in. As I said, this is going to be a long video. It's just going to include everything. I, I just don't see a point in, in breaking it up. Um, so here we go. Okay, so in the first video, we're going to be going over um, the Enchantress's house. Okay, so right here to the right, is where all the immaculate, you know, swordsman kind of and the head immaculate dude in Hunter Ed, Hunter's Edge is hanging out. Um, he, he, I will, you know, show you in the very next video. Right here is the immaculate uh, sorceress or enchanters. Oh, right, right here, Priestess Cordellus. So this is her place. Uh, go in here. This place is one of the places added in EE. You, you know, as you can tell because. Um, uh, they seem to like to just throw a whole bunch of garbage in these new buildings for EE. Just throw a whole bunch of garbage in here. None of this is... Or, I shouldn't say none of this. Much of this is worthless. Um, and much of this is not set up correctly. So when you go to click on it, like the painting of a landscape, you know, sometimes... Or like a book. See? Here's one. For example. I click on that book, and what ends up happening, it, it sends you outside, and you try to click it from the outside of the building... These things aren't path found uh, correctly. So you're going to find that if you really want to collect any of this stuff or most of this stuff, your, the pathfinding is going to be all weird. So it's going to try to like put you behind a bookcase or outside and 
It's all, you know. This is clearly EE. Bottle of swirling mud is used to create your. Uh, What's that gleam? Sword of planets with your fiery heart. You get two of them actually here. I'm just gonna skip ahead here. So I clicked some stuff like empty jar or empty bottles. They're actually useful. Now this is, you know, this is actually not that difficult, right? You just throw this thing down here. You might take some fire damage. Oh well. You throw it down. Man, this is loud. In my headset, that just rocked my ear set. So there you go. So you just need to move this down onto that switch. And you're good to go. You now have a crap ton of stuff. Empty bottles, stuff that you want to collect. If you want to get lazy and just collect it all. This is why opening, and this is why opening up Hunter's Edge in these places as soon as possible. In most cases, if you can, if you could get this place, get to this place before you even take out most of Psy Seal, that means that you have even more Firestorm grenades when they're actually uh, used the most, the most useful. Um, there's really, you know, the, uh, you know, most is just collecting stuff. It, it's, at this point in time, there's just gear you can collect. There's a second bottle of swirling mud, which is interesting. Seven grand abundance. Uh, the only other thing that you can do is read pr priestess. So you read, so you collect all this stuff, open up some chests. You read priestess's diary. Uh, you collect. Um, you get this small bone totem. Now you get this either by killing the priestess Cor Cordella or whatever her name was, or you get it by buying it from her. And what you do is you come down here, you throw it down here in the middle of this circle after reading her diary, and then you can decide to. Uh, this is a broken quest in the game. You can decide to. Uh, let these uh, skeletal um, merchants continue to do what they're doing or free them. Now, this is a broken quest. Why? Because uh, if you free them, you get a point in spiritual. If you keep them there, you get a point in materialistic. And that's it. You don't get any experience for completing this quest. There's no chest dropped, nothing. So... I, their I, bodies I, seem happy enough performing their duties. I, is it bad? Yes. So I take a point in pragmatic. I guess it's not materialistic. It's pragmatic. Shh. Yep. Why? Because you don't get anything. So even doing that, there's no experience. Like you, There's no experience. You get a point in pragmatic. Oh, well. Uh, if you complete this quest, you will lose um, arguably one of the best uh, merchants in the game. Definitely one of the top three best merchants in the game. There's him. Uh, there's the, uh, merchant that goes into Silver Glen, the blacksmith that you have to, tr uh, transport there into Silver Glen. And then there's, uh, your merchant at your homestead, uh, that, uh, is one of the rooms that's open up. Those are, those are arguably the three best merchants in the game. And you lose them. So, anyway, so, this is this area. Mm-hmm. I found something. Okay, so here's Priestess, Priestess Cordelia's place that we just went into. This guy uh, tells you, hey, can you, can you uh, investigate this murder? So you start down here, you talk to this guy, and you'll see this blood trail develop here if you have high enough perception. Wow, what's this? I've I hanged him for a dry time. Uh, I hate clicking on my people. Accidentally like that. Something interesting. I wish that there was. I wish that to talk well, to a teammate. This I've spotted. There was some something up here. So you, there was like a little what's microphone some. or something here where you could start party dialogue by clicking up here. That clicking well, your person, like clicking on them, didn't do anything because you, you, far too often you're trying to invite, uh, mess with the environment. You're trying to, to do something like that, and uh, you end up talking with your party member instead, and it's just annoying. Because you can't click escape, you then have what to fuck, you know. So anyway, put on your charisma gear, pass your charisma check here. 
I will click save here, as I always do. I won, so it doesn't matter. If I lost, I would have load, loaded, get put my good gear back on. Now, you can kill people after you've said you don't want to fight them. Uh, this is one such case. Now I'm going to show you something here. You, you cast this? that, you hit three I of them. Something. But if you do this... Of that he gets mad at you. Oh, well. Then you move this guy in. For some reason, I am not able to do it. And then they're all there, right? So then, when you cast your uh, hailstorm, you hit them all. You kill them all, like a pimp. And I think I actually hit myself with my hailstorm there. Okay, um, to get in here, I've spotted something I'm drenched. You're going to, I get it, you're drenched. You're going to need to hit these levers. Here's one. Oh, my eyes it never rains, but it pours, eh? Uh, you uh, will have to walk through that, actually, a mirage of a tree to get to it. Don't forget to click the grate here. If you don't click the grate, you don't get the experience. That's another switch. Click the grate, get some more experience. So that's your second switch. Here's your third switch. I, I, I do enjoy the statues with their moss bras. That's, you know, keep it T for teen, people. Um... It just so happened that the moss grew right there. So we're gonna go down here. Some, I, you know, I, I've seen a couple people struggle with this puzzle, which I, in the Forbes, I don't understand why. This is a very straightforward puzzle. So you can use the Titan Dictionary here to, to win a speech check, but but I do not do it. And the reason why I do not do it here is because um, if you win the speech check, if oh, you no. win the speech check, you then cannot start a fight with these four guys. Okay? And you say, well, why is that a big deal? Because you gain more experience from fighting these guys and killing them than by winning the speech check. Well, experience isn't everything. Okay, fine. So you don't want the experience? These guys also have, as you'll see, a very good chance. A very good chance of dropping good loot. So you also miss out on the opportunity to get good loot. Just to note, these guys are, you know, very prone to knockdown. They also are immune to piercing. These are part of those statues where crushing damage does, you know, much more damage. And so those arrows, those knockdown arrows, not only do they knock down, they also deal crushing damage versus piercing damage. Why is that important? Because if you just shot an arrow at these guys, they literally would be immune. Now, why do I do this? There's some ice there, and uh, there's a good chance that... Whoop! You slip! See, had I know you'd say whoops. I'm just that good. Stay put. So there are a couple fights like this, um, in front of the, uh, cathedral in Sicile, there's another group of statues where if you win the fight, or win the verbal fight, there won't actually be a physical fight, and you can't start the fight afterwards.
I'm telling you here that this deals piercing damage. Uh, well, I can't show you. It'll go down. Oh, the power of my rock. Piercing damage. You don't want that, okay? So you don't want to do that. Instead, do this. It deals crushing damage. Gaining touch is always just kind of fun to do. Hobbling assault. Crippling blow you can do every turn. I'll grind you to a fight. And uh, it can deal about 1200 damage. So, pretty awesome. Now, I'm still using knockdown arrows, even though he's knocked down already, because, as I've already explained, it needs to deal crushing damage versus piercing damage. Your and you say, well, okay, that wasn't that much experience. Eh, it was worth it. Because you also get purple, purple, and a d purple, and a purple, and a divine. So, eh, do it, people. Do it. Now, here's the puzzle, people. Here's it. This is it. Burning eyes. I don't know if I put the perception gear on yet. Okay, so I need to put the perception gear on. I've spotted something. And well, there's some feedies. What's this? Follow I found the something. feedies. The other thing, the other way you can do this What's is this? a hot and cold game. See this? This is hot. So you will gain the hot status. When you walk What's off this? of this, you'll become cold. Something. So move back and guess it. But why wouldn't you just wow. do this? What's I, I this don't, I've spotted? I, I don't know. Also, uh, you'll find some chests. Make sure that you are on the maximum range I've away, like this. Teleport the chest. I cast on the depths of my will. Because it'll get poisoned, but it won't matter. I'll loot it. What's this? I found something. And continue on. Same thing. You want to teleport I trade it here? My God, that's for a hot drink. So well, anyway, pretty simple. You move forward. You teleport these chests maximum distance. Pick them up. Uh, when you get up here, something toxic courses through my veins. Wait. You can teleport it back over the grate like that. That'll lock it back up again. When you get up here, you can go backwards down the other path. You can go down the other path here. Toasty! See, there's the hot cold. Something. Showing you the hot cold there. And there you go. So you can go down this other path here, pick I up the chest something. the same way. Yes, I found so you get here. Light as a feather. Bada beam, bada boom. And there's this entire puzzle with all the chests. I thought there might be a switch here that deactivates it, but I. I maybe it was an original thing. Oh, here you find the guy you're looking for. You get the horn, you read the note. Yarl was right. There's not an end in sight. Patience. His murder turned up, Denny Man. Which means you there. Where are the red imps hiding? Easy, sister. We of the war. I know eons, and so the imp knowledge they were. No, we the after of the imps. And what of the other half? Well, we can it be? You'll find the imps. That's right. The I mislead these Sight people. I get a point in Renegade here because um, telling them where the imps are, you gain nothing. You gain nothing. 
If you lie about where the imps are, the imps will give you a book that'll I give you an attribute point, and first. then you can turn. And then after that, you can turn around and kill them. Here's one of the stones that uh, you know is in my video of where to find all the stones. You know, here I am counting the stones, making sure I haven't missed one. I suppose. Okay, I might. Where do I go here? Okay, so I go back into town. <laughs> In my opening up video, I show you how to unlock underneath Hunter's Edge. So I do not do that here. Uh, I show you underneath here. And maybe I go here now. I don't even know. Oh, I just robbed this place. So you move the chairs because it makes it easier to rob them. So just throw the chairs on top of each other. Rob everything if you want to. So I do. I rob everything. And this is gonna take a while. Don't have to if you don't want to. Just... So not only and if you open up Hunter's Edge early, oh, and you oh, I'm nobody at all. Well, uh, if you open up Hunter's Edge Edge early, you can run into a lot of these empty bottles over here, and as well as some good experience early on, as well as this loot. Uh, all of these golden knives can be turned into daggers that can be sold for a lot, etc., etc. Uh, Herschel here, he wants some whiskey. Uh, to get the whiskey, you go outside of town, you click the barley, you get the barley, you walk directly into town, into that very first building, and you put it into a grindstone, you get grit, you then walk out of that place, there's a bucket there that you can pick up. You get some water in the bucket, you combine the water with the grit you get whatever it is wort you then go uh into the uh brewer's basement now the brewer's basement is the building with the the orc wandering around looking for the key uh and you go into there and you click and drag the wort onto the distillery there you'll get the bottle of whiskey you then go to the End of time. You talk to your imp friend. The imp friend then be makes it alcoholic. Oh, oh special. Oh, oh you might. Well, can't and say then you oh, give it back to Herschel, and you get some experience. And all these guys. Become what can I do you for? Well, Let's have a look. A shame to wear something so fine on. Now there, always. Oh, oh special. Oh, oh, you might imagine. Well. So now they're all drunk. It just makes it easier to kill them. Which I think I'll show later. You can pick these guys off. And no one seems to care. So, there's some guys out here that you can sell gear to. They, they typically don't even sell that good of gear. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in the basement here. There is... I don't I don't even know three mini quests in this town involving the queen here or whatever she's called um, in which you can turn people into her and she'll go hang them the first is the rat catcher and you're doing it here so if you go down and kill the king rat you and then t tell well kill the king rat and then rat uh, I was about to say uh, tell on the queen and say hey by the way rat catchers lost control she'll go out and kill the rat catcher there's the guy out there selling Tenebrium, so you can have him go out there and she'll whack him. Tenebrium and Tenebrium weapons. There is uh, the uh, homosexual, be I don't know, cross-species couple out there. Um, right next to the guy who's lost the key, you can rat on him and say, hey, by the way, those two are, you know, have a thing. She'll go out there and kill the orc because that's unacceptable. To her, to her, it's not acceptable to her. And then the guy who's lost the key. So you can also find the key, which is down here, and return the key to him. So that's four. <gasps> One, two, three, four. So you can kill four of these orcs. 
to her. Now, in my other video I show right here, I show an opening up. I show where you you can throw your pyramid or teleport somebody through here and then, you know, loot this place. So you can give her the key and um, she'll go kill the person and it won't matter. You can still get into the treasury and rob it blind. Uh, in the basement here, you're going to use your pet pal to talk to the rat prince. Now this guy will show up. This guy will show up here. If you poison a rat outside, now poison a rat outside, which I must have already done, you just get some of that uh, that mushroom, mix it with a um, some cheese, and then throw it down in front of the any of these rat holes. So anyway, so you talk to this guy. So that's how you start the fight. Just shoot him. <laughs> Does it matter? No, because his very first turn, he'll summon all of his people. And guess what the first turn you're going to do? Oh boy, a master level spell. This chest here. This chest here will explode on you. And it will always have just a key in it. And so you'll notice that when I was doing this circle, I made sure that the chest was in the range. Why? Because I wanted it to hit so the key would pop out and I wouldn't have to blow myself up. But as you can see, a single uh, hail attack killed all of them, save for one and the king. Over, overkill. The rodent monarchy has fallen. That ought to solve the wreck. Oh, so there's your armory key. So you can return that to. Uh... I doubt the rat catcher will take the My kingdom. Okay, so I'm going up here, and I'm, I think I killed this group. So. I'm just showing you, you can kill these guys one at a time and nobody else cares in the village. It's really weird. Baking like a cake. So up here at the telescope. Fresh apple pie. Woo! Well, what's this I've spotted? Oh, you will find a moonstone oh, beside the tel telescope. You'll find a one of the his hidden sister chests there. As per my guide, or my... Uh, video of the hidden Warm sisters. Dragon's breath. You will also find uh, up here a dig spot with a chest, some goodies in it. I think it's an ornate chest too, so I think I think those are supposed to drop better. Supposed to drop better loot. Woo! Big yawn. I've spotted something interesting. There it is. Hey, you're gonna go. You're gonna want to go into these beehives because you're gonna need that key. That's why we're up here. Okay. Okay. And none of this is important. None of this is important. I'm just cleaning up some of these random regions. These guys are, like I said, any of these kind of offshoot guys, these guys don't even have any quests. No quests. They're just part of the fight that you can spawn. You. 
Anyway, so you kill these guys. And for some reason, uh, the people down here, they, they just don't care. They, he just doesn't care. Just like I killed the orcs up here and no one, no one cares. So now this that you... This looks strange. Yeah. Unreal, even. Yeah. So anyway, this is where the key goes. Who are you? Stay away from my family. A seven eyes and a many eyes and a we care, it seems, from the orb case. He told us to wind men as you may believe me. It's this not much spy... to see here. Oh, jeez. Jumped ahead there. This cat is actually a spy. <laughs> now... This cat drives me absolutely crazy. It's such a... It's such a such an error in the writing in, in this game. But anyway, so uh, the evil witch is spying on you there through that cat. And that's the only reason why she knows your next plan. But even if you kill the cat, she still knows your plan. So uh, whatever. So this is the imp that you gained the book for. It out. This wonder of a realm, it's like a star. Ah, and since you've proven yourself such a dear darling chum, so he gives you a book that increases your um, attributes by one. And then you do this. Why? Because. They were evil. Oh, okay. So the uh, the um, the people down below that you just were at, they don't trust you. They want you to uh, prove that you can be trusted. Go talk Whoa. to Ikara. Ikara will give you a ring. The thing then you can come back in here. Make your sneeze. And so this is when the cat leaves. So, cat leaves, and I just it's like I'm calling bull crap on this uh, because uh, that's an error in the writing. That's an error in the writing. Because that you know cat can't be spying on you from a dead body. That's just horse manure. But anyway, so. You're gonna go into a place that's infested with traps, so be ready. This is what you need to do. To end the traps in this wizard house. Okay, if you're in honor mode, keep white back below. This game was not an honor mode, so this is, you know, a newer playthrough. So, move her. And those are mirages, okay? So those mines are still there. So just avoid them. Are my eyes fooling me? Avoid it. Come in here. Ding, 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 ding. Hit the switch. So there's another mine right there. Avoid it. Walk here. What trickery is this? Go up to the corner. Go around and here. Yet. Hit the switch. With the house is down. You have just emptied this house of all the traps. Yay. You can then go back in here. So, oh, so like I was saying, if you're in honor oh. mode, leave your other source hunter in this room. Okay? Bring the other two through. And why do you bring them through? Because there's a there's a switch here. They're, they're sitting on a switch. That's the what they're shut down. The family should be able to get through here without a hit. So, this. So they're sitting on this switch. This is not an honor mode run, but as you can see, I, I'm not in any danger, even if it was. But just in case, leave your uh, leave your source hunter out here, okay? So in case everything goes wrong, so that you can still resurrect people and you're still okay. Oh, friend, how can we help? Oh yes, let's. 
Have you great gods above? That's before we go. Yeah, so she gives you the password of the chest in the house. You can then loot this place to your little heart's content. Um, mm -hmm, over here, this is uh, an important thing to loot. So this isn't just normal loot. This jewelry box here, you need to get the Phantom Protection Amulet. You have to get that. Uh, in here, they've given you the password to this. Treasure, treasure on the ground. Who's not you a dip? And there you go. So that's that. Um, everything else in here, you just loot. You just loot, 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 loot. Um, except for... Uh-huh. There's, uh... One other thing to note in that building. Right there, there's a switch. You hit this switch, this will disappear. In here, you will find a uh, staff kit part. You'll Seven find some uh, chest. You'll find some other, you know, odds and ends items uh, out here. Right here, you stand right here and read Xandalore's spell. It doesn't seem to work. So you here. get upstairs. This thing will open up. Uh, more stuff for you to loot down in the basement. Just all sorts of, you know, goodies. Last part of Hunter's Edge. Told you this was a long video. So the Jarl, so I'm trying to give you all the quests, so at this point in time, pretty much every side quest that you can kind of complete in this game, in this city, I've told you about. So this is one of them, he tells you to come down here and deal with these people. Charisma gear, because this is a. Ah! I missed it again. So anyway, you pass the speech check with those guys. Not even Human that important. Human squish flats better than us. Yeah! You, silly you all got to see it because you all really want to see that speech check. So you win that. You put your good gear back on. And then what you do, do is you get barrels and stuff and block this door. Block this door. Why? Because I told you to. Just do it. Kill me now then. Go on, do it. I only need one. Talk to this guy. A fresh pair of hands, are you? Or what? But there's something. Do get him not to stop shouting him. or he'll blow our cover. There's no point. Perhaps once he knows our true identity. If he's done, there's a tunnel in this cellar. And if you could help speaking of that. They're, they're coming. They found okay, us. Now, coming. if you have not stuck the barrels in this opening this here, they will rush through here. They will rush through here. It sounds awful. But guess what? Because you suck the barrels here, they won't even move. So the guys won't even move. And then what do you do? You use all your awesome master level abilities. Slaughter these what? people. They don't even touch you. I got a gold item there. What was it? Fiery. What's it that I got here? Maybe the scope? You get one of those. Oh, grimoire of... So a piece of crap item. I don't even know what that you know, does other than make a Kickstarter happy. So there's a magical unlock scroll used to open this door. There's just some random loot in here. But more importantly, you can actually stand here and start your fight with these two that were supposed to run in, but did not. This is not. 
you can actually cast your spells over the edge of this. Like I did here. So now you just cast your little hail attack. Insta kill, you know? I'm being a dork here and using a summon bomb guy. Yay! Alright, so this is the last guy in the basement here that's a human. There's a fun way to kill him. Melee power stance, rage, walk in shadows. Walk behind him. And destroy him. <laughs> anyway, so he's dead. Hit the switch here. Right. Yonder. What on earth? It'll open this. A tunnel. Then you're gonna walk out here, there's gonna be a bunch of crazy dead people. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get your awesome ranger, you're going to sneak her up a little bit more. Use this. And oh my, did you just kill them all? Yep. But we've cleared the last of the mushrooms. I'm sure the bats were so fine. this entire fight's already over. So you can ca cast some fire here to make sure that fire, this fire. gets cleared and the villagers don't uh, poison themselves to death. So you can just burn your way through here. Run back. Talk to the villagers. Not only this guy, but the two villagers you that made are... short work of those monsters. It's it's all set. But the two villagers that are hiding, or not hiding, pr prisoners in that little cell. Here they are here. Go over here. They're like, oh my gosh, we're going to die. There's a bunch of poisonous things up ahead. And then you say, oh, by the way, I've already cleared it. And they just leave. What news? What an invaluable... And now free... Okay. Now this is it. This is it. I, you know, I do some one final shopping. But at this point in time, most of the quests, you know... Or all the quests are done. There's no more experience to be had in here. And you also have the Phantom Amulet. So you can leave the city if you want to. You can. Um, I think you can go upstairs too. Maybe I go upstairs. I'll show you that. Um, wow, so we could tell the coffee bridge. No, I don't even show that. So you can you can go upstairs. You can pick those guys off. I and mean, there's multiple things you can do to start this fight, right? There's multiple ways you can start this fight. Uh, you go upstairs. The only thing upstairs is uh, one lone dude that Medora you can either tell to kill or not kill, and that's all. It's upstairs. You can go apart and just start attacking everyone in the village if you want, uh, or you can come to this guy. And turn in the evidence. Why? So we could tell the cockpit. And with this eye, never we could tell the stores him above the tavern. I don't know much of the deal. The wizard, my man, an orc torture, and I knew it. The one and you. With a knife. So anyway, so you can do this, and uh, at this point in time, the village is gone. It's gone because you have to kill everyone in the village. Now what I do, what I do here, they have this little talk, but then this guy dies at the end of the talk. So what I do is I do the hailstorm early because I want to be the one to kill this guy. I want to kill this guy. And if you let this conversation play out, she'll kill him, take the experience from that, and that, you know, irritates me. So I throw down a uh, ice, and she's the very first person I kill. Why? Because she has the, uh, you know, Avenger, whatever it's called, where everybody that dies around her, she gets stronger. <laughs> so I just kill my own here. And this entire fight, I'm telling you, it's... it's Pretty pointless because everyone just, you know, gets slaughtered under your, you know, wrath.
Donald's. Check out this. Taste my Boom! No, you need it. Uh, we, we, maybe we need to have a moment of silence for this. Donald's. Just to show you this. Once again. As I have said over and over and over and over again. Daggers drawn is uber, uber, uber powerful. Backstab criticals, which you will gain if you are at their back, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300. Okay? Because it's a guaranteed crit in the back. Okay? Now, what, what is that? So 26, so that's 5200 points of damage. Did I do that math right? I think so. 5200 points of damage. Boom! Drops her. Okay? So. Uh, and, and I'm telling you, Medora just uh, will deal e either around that or less than that damage. And as I've said repeatedly in all my other videos, that is not a master level skill. That is only an adept level skill. It is unbelievably powerful. So anyway, at this point in time, I just go through the village and slaughter everyone else, including the, the mountain men. Just kill them all just kill them all and the fights are this fight is not difficult so I'm, I'm attacking the mountain men now if you do it this way if you do it this way the mountain men don't fight back so they'll just you just they'll just let you slaughter them um and so it's it's an easier it's an even easier fight um than if you just flat out at this point in time decide to just attack the entire village versus turning in the evidence um so that becomes a much harder fight, but but you're guaranteed to kill all the mountain men. Whereas if you do it this way, you're not guaranteed to kill all the mountain men. Some of those mountain men could die, and they will be the orcs killing them. And you don't gain experience for that. The orcs kill those guys, you do not gain experience. So anyway. You know, I don't think you need to see this. So just slaughter the village, kill everyone that's left. All these guys are evil anyway. You want them dead, and none of them have really that much gear worth selling anyway, so you don't learn. It's not like the Goblin Village where there's actually a reason to keep them alive. Um, the best merchant in this village is actually outside of the village. So he does not die. He does not die. Oh yeah, just go from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing, slaughtering these people. So anyway, th like I said, really long video, really long video. I hope it wasn't too long and, you know, too boring. But I just didn't see a point in separating this video into multiple little videos. This is all of Hunter's Edge. This is all you need to know about Hunter's Edge to get all the experience that you can possibly get out of Hunter's Edge while also uh, finding all the loot that you need to get. And... Um, So I hope you enjoyed. I hope that uh, you'll continue to watch and read the, uh, the walkthrough. But more importantly, I hope you enjoy the game. I hope you enjoy the game. And, uh, the uh, walkthrough is making it more enjoyable for you. As always, if you have any questions or any, any comments, be sure to just jot one down for me and send it my way. And I will... I will be sure to get back to you. As